Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another Bibi and Peter show where we put the fun back into English learning. Well, at least I put the fun back into English learning and the, yes, let's welcome my co-host Peter. Como estás, mi querida apresentadora Bibi? Oh Como estás? Oh my goodness, Peter, what, what are you on about? Like, why are you talking to me in Spanish? Well, well, I, thought, I mean, I mean, I know that you're you're learning Spanish. I mean, how's your Spanish doing, by the way? Oh my god! Wow, what? What? Did you have to drop that bomb? Like, really? I told you in confidence that I'm trying to learn Spanish, and I'm not very proud about it because I'm not doing a very good job at learning Spanish. It was supposed well, to be you. like it was supposed to be it's confidential. Really, that com so that confidential you aspire something that you're learning a language in secret. Because, no, because, you know, I'm a perfectionist. I'm not doing, I'm, I'm not having much luck with my Spanish journey. Yeah. Um, that's, yeah. A, that's an issue with learning a language, perfectionism. An action before perfection, baby. Didn't you get it yet? Oh, here we go. Wow, here we go. Peter's going to go into a motivational guru mode. Take it away, Peter. What do you need to tell me about my Spanish? Um, language learning. What do you need oh, to I don't know. Well, well, I don't, I don't know, baby. What, what's, what's, what's happened? You don't seem very motivated right now with Spanish. What, what, what happened? I thought you, you were so excited about it, and now it seems like uh, it's all gone down into ashes. What, what happened? Because I don't know. It's it just like I realized that, like I said, I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and when I do something, I expect to at it 110 percent and i'm not excelling at my spanish at the rate that i wanted to like i thought it was going to be very easy sailing i know this is quite hypocritical of me because i'm always telling my students like paso a paso you know step by step english is just a journey it's a language journey but i have to be honest when the shoe is on the other foot i'm finding it a bit more difficult to take my own advice because started Spanish, I was so excited and learning and I'm learning all these new words and and then a friend of mine starts talking to me in Spanish and I'm like, oh dear God, más lento, I have, like, please, like, slow down, I have zero clue what you're saying. And why is, why, is setting, why, are you, why is setting your expectations that, that, that high, Bibi? What's, I mean, are you having fun in learning it or is it that you're just not, I'm having, not, I'm having not, fun seeing my students, like, look at me like, oh, like, oh my God, like, that's fun. But when I have to, like, basically push through, push through, Peter, what does push through mean? Push through. Push through means perseverance, meaning to, uh, that resilience, that effect of resilience. Push it, push through means doing it uh, regardless of the pushback or regardless of the resistance like that grinding, you're experiencing. Grinding. Grinding. Like mm -hmm. Hustle and grind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Biting the bullet. And I like that one. Biting, Biting the, bullet. the bullet. There we go. You have to bite the bullet. Yeah. Or yeah. rise above it. Bite the bullet means do the difficult thing. It, it's not easy, but you're going to do it. So when I have to bite the bullet, when I'm learning my Spanish, and like right now I'm like at the verb conjugations and all of that, and I'm just losing motivation, and I'm like, I'm never going to be able to speak the language, even though I love it. So, yeah. Well, it's strange, Bibi, isn't it strange? You're you're using you're using love and demotivation in the same sentence. Isn't that kind of like contradictory? Is that like almost like an oxym oxymoron? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Are you going to psychoanalyze me now, Peter? What is, what is this? What is the sense to this? Why did you bring up the conversation? Why did you bring up the topic of my Spanish language learning? Like, why am I the bus well, I, joke? I, well, I think that there's this uh, great fallout in people learning a language. And I think one of the main reasons in my experience, you know, teaching for 18 years, um, you know, it's not that people don't get the structure. They don't get them, the, 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 the grammar. It's they, they just don't, they can grind through it. They, they, they just give up. They, um, I maybe they, you, right? Yeah, they 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 just um, no. go halfway, and they're like, you know, I'm I, I'm 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 fed up. I can't take anymore, take it anymore. And and what happens many times is that people lose their patience and passions. 
Um, and you know that I always use these kind of stay passionate. Like I don't know how to stay passionate. Like I have these highs and lows. Like, mm. like oh, I'm learning Spanish today. I'm gonna get my certification, and then I'm like, oh my god. I... Well, 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 you need to, you know, language learning. Um, you know, we romanticize that a lot. You know, rem you know. But, you know, you're talking about the language learning. What does that have to do with Romans? Let's still be telling me any Spanish lover. Everything, everything. Well, uh, having a Spanish lover probably would be a great motivation, Bibi, because I mean, people okay, God, you know, and relationships. It was a joke. Are, well, it's 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 a joke that actually is quite serious. So 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 people and relationships are one of the key motivational points that helps us to follow through. So. So if we reach that famous language learning plateau, you know, which usually, usually it's between B1 and B2, it's it's actually a social, uh, emotional plateau. So it's um, you're not can able we, to can add we, can meaning. We here, can we be realistic here? Um, I'm not someone who's going to be able to or wants to go and get a Spanish lover, but I still want to learn the language. So how do I do that without romanticizing it? Well, I mean, if you don't want to get a lover, at least get a best friend in the language and kind of demystify someone exciting through that language. I mean, uh, getting to know someone is, a stranger that is, is the main reason why you're learning a language, right? I mean, if you're not into meeting someone new, why learning it in the first place? Because it helps me to teach my students or Spanish when I understand the barriers that they have. But is that is that motivation enough, Bibi, to keep you to, to see you through the whole process? I mean, if you if you're going to be in a marriage with Spanish, you need you need great reasons to take you through the low times. Oh, God. Okay. Um I don't know if you're helping me. If I don't know if you're aiding me or you just making me feel worse about the slide now. Like, what what is the what is the advice I'm taking away right now, Peter? What are you telling re, me? Re, how do I re, get through this? Rekindle, resignify the passion for Spanish. Um, you know, ask about why, why, why am I doing it? Why, why? Yeah, now, we we have an episode about the why factor, yeah. right? Yeah, I'll ask you why. So, yeah. Exactly. So why 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 have I run out of fuel? Why has my passions run dry in this language? What where um you know where can I reinvest my passions in this language to make it more exciting? I mean, so I'm running break dry break for a reason. But it's I not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a breakthrough in the language. It's a breakthrough in your emotion and your commitment of that language. Hmm. Okay, very deep, Peter. I have to be honest, very deep. You've taken my Spanish learning and you just dissected it. And um, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's helping the learners to, <laughs> to understand better their English journey. Like, what are, what is Peter telling you guys to go get an English lover or an English best friend? Peter, what are you saying? What I'm telling you guys is that language learning is much deeper than you have first imagined. So when you go to the plateau, you have to find that emotional o oasis. Explain the word plateau. What's a plateau? Plateau is that flat, non-growth. And many times it's emotional. It's from a very subjective perspective. You might even be growing. You might even be developing your language, but you don't see it because you've reached that's kind of that I, place. I, that's the problem. That's the problem with me. I work on the carrot and stick kind of approach to life is like I need after difficulty I need a reward yeah and with my mm. English, uh, my language learning not seeing that reward very quickly like I'm putting in all those efforts and all of that and I think I'm so great and then I have a conversation and I'm like oh dear god well, it's, it, you know? well well you need to you need to find that reward system maybe and you need to put it in place and and you need to reward yourself obviously sufficiently um, but that, 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 um, you know, that, that, that impact or that results that you're looking for is not always vocabulary. It's not always structure. It can be a, an, a friendship, 
um, you know, you can even uh, you know, think going about back to, going back to telling us all here that if you're learning a language, you need to have some kind of personal relationship with someone in order for you to yeah. have happiness in the language. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Really? Exactly. Oh my exactly. God. Oh, because that's the reason why we're learning the language. Baby. That's, that's the reason Spanish why we're friend. learning it. Well, you need to, you need to have an only Spanish friend. Okay. Only Spanish friend. Only Spanish friend. So you're not a, friend. you're not allowed to, to have a bilingual relationship with that person. You need to have a oh, Spanish God. only relationship. Oh God. Okay. But that's a bit difficult. Yeah. Because he exactly. practices his Spanish. Um, he practices exactly. English while I practice my Spanish. Yeah. Okay. I would say that it needs to be you Spanish only. Silent. Because then you're forced silent. to grind through. You're forced to grind through the relationship. You're forced to bite the bullet, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. What's bite the bullet, Peter? By the bullet means sucking it up. Seeing it through. No, like going through the suffering. Like eating the frog. The frog. Mm, yeah. no, 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 not regularly. At least. Yeah. You do have some French blood in you, so I do understand you like. Uh, food. don't remind me. Don't. Yeah. What? Hey, I have. I do a lot of a really a good amount of of, of nice French people. Should not be. Ashamed no, they're nice. French of French course, French. they're nice. No, French are awesome people. It's a personal aspect, but but we'll get that to that to another another episode. We have to s sign off and wrap up. Thank you so much, okay. BB, for that. And I Thank hope that you, you guys for feel. Thank you out my dirty laundry, Peter. Thank you for airing out my do dirty laundry. The pleasure. Do you want to explain pleasure. that? What does airing out my dirty laundry mean? Well, according to BB, her learning Spanish is a secret. And I've just revealed the secret. So I don't really know what she's getting at. But, anyways, that's a wrap, BB. We have to say goodbye. Thank you so much for all the listeners. And Thank you. hopefully that it's helped you with your motivation. So keep yeah. motivated, yeah. keep at it. Yeah. Don't give up. Fight the Don't give up. You're sure. the best. <laughs> See you. Bye. Adios.